Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make these super easy glass effects in Photoshop. Hi guys, my name's Tyler. Most of you know me as Fox Rocket Studio from over on Instagram. I've been a freelance graphic designer and content creator for over five years now, and I'm finally pulling the trigger and making my first YouTube video. So, wish me luck. I thought I'd start the channel by addressing the question I get asked most over on my Instagram, which is how do I make that glass effect? So today, I'm gonna to show you. First, I'm gonna show you the basics of how I make the effect. Then I'm gonna show you how to make your own textures like these. So first, I've got my image here in Photoshop ready to go. We're gonna add a shape, and this is gonna be our glass shape. So I'm just gonna add a circle. That can just go there for now. So then we're gonna duplicate the image behind, Control J, and then we're gonna drag it above the new shape we've created. Now you can right click on this and go create clipping mask. Also, a shortcut is you can hold Alt in between the two layers and click and it will make a clipping mask. Now, we want to double click on our shape and then we want to add some layer styles to this. So we want to add bevel and emboss. And down here, you've got a few default contours, but we're actually going to click on the image, make our own one. And what we're going to do is drag this up to the top and then we're going to click in the center and drag this down roughly to the center like that. Cool. And what we're going to do now is change the angle to 130. The altitude is 30. I think it's this by default. And then we're going to play around here. We can play around with the size and the depth, kind of get it how you want, soften it a bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, and now we're going to add a drop shadow. Now, obviously, I don't think it really makes sense because I don't think glass makes a shadow because it's, it's transparent, but it looks good. So I'm going to add a little drop shadow, very, very low opacity, increase the size of it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Kind of just play around with this, and make it look how you want. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how this shape is looking so far. So now we need to do the main part, the texture. So for that, we're going to select our image that is masked to our shape. And we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur and set this to whatever you want you know depend depends how how blurry you want it but i i'm going to do 10 for this so it's very clear it's very clear that there's a blur here and then next you're going to go filter filter gallery glass so distort glass and then here you've got a few that are all right they're just the default Photoshop ones, they're okay. You can change the scaling. I quite like the tiny lens one here. So zoom in on this a bit, you'll be able to see a bit better. I like this one, lower the smoothness for this and get the scale down a bit. I use this in a lot of my designs. It's cool, it's, a, it's quite a cool texture. So straight away, we've got our glass effect. Very simple, very easy. Another thing I like to do is click on my layer and control U or command U on Mac. And I like to add like a tiny bit of lightness, like plus five. And that just kind of separates. It's like, to be fair, it's quite hard to see on this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll add a little bit more. 10, let's try 10, yeah. The beauty of doing it this way and having the image, the textured image mask is that obviously it's very, very editable, you know? you can move this around wherever you want and you've got that glass texture. So that's the basics. Next, I'm going to show you how we can add our own textures to this and change this glass texture to something more interesting. So here's some examples of things you can do by adding your own patterns to the glass texture. Still very easy to do, but just requires a few more steps. Okay, so first we want to make a new document 100 by 100 because we're going to make a pattern. Click create, zoom in here. So we're going to click down here and we're going to go gradient, make it a black and white gradient. And we, so if you want vertical lines, so you want the lines to go up like this, you'd have the angle at zero. If you wanted to have horizontal lines, then you'd have it at 90 and the lines will go this way. So we'll do zero for this one. I'm going to reverse it as well. So it's that way. Cool. 
Okay, so with our gradient selected, we're going to click Edit, Define Pattern, and then we'll name that uh, Vertical Lines. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make a new document, and we're going to make it 3000 by 4000. Then we're going to click down here and click Pattern. And now you should see the pattern you saved here. And then we just click OK. Okay, then we're going to save that. And we'll just save it here as vertical lines. Oh, I already have one called that. I'll save it over it. And then we're going to go here. And we've got our shape following the steps that we did previously with the texture and everything, just the default one. And all you need to do is double click filter gallery. And now click this little icon here and click load texture. And now you can see we've got our vertical lines PSD here. Just load that. And there you go. We've got the texture. I find with these, you actually want to up the distortion quite a lot to get, get the texture looking really good. And the smoothness as well. But, you know, play with it and make it look how you want. I think I'm going to do that. I think the scaling is fine. So then we just have OK. And now we've got our new glass texture. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, as I said at the beginning, it's my first time doing a YouTube video, so apologies for any jumpy editing at all. I tried to keep it smooth, but yeah, I'm uh, not very good at talking to the camera and keeping it in one cut. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.